everybody to Ice Dogs This Week. Remember, you can find us on Twitter at Ice Dogs This Week or on Facebook, facebook.com slash Ice Dogs This Week. And, of course, our website, www.icedogsthisweek.com. Calm, calm. I, I don't know. I, where is it? it's, it's like it's only been a few years. Eventually, it's going to happen. Like for the third you. show of the year. Anyways, that's that's it. Anyways, we're uh, we're here now with uh, Ice Dogs uh, star. Can we say star? We'll call him a star. newly acquired forward. Newly acquired forward, uh, Minnesota Wild prospect Ivan Ladnia. So just first things first, Ivan. Thanks uh, for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. So uh, depending on who you ask, your name is Ivan or Vanya or. So I just want you to know what or uh, what what you prefer. Like, tell the fans what you'd like to be called. Or like, I don't know, what do you want? Superstar number nine? Like, what do you prefer? <laughs> no, I mean, we have a lot of superstars. I don't. I mean, <laughs> I grew up Vanya, but then I mean, kind of like first, like kind of the second or third year in the year, they started going with Ivan. So I mean, either way it works, but. Yeah, I guess Vanya. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when you um, sign your name in an autograph, what is it? I mean, you don't just sign your, Yeah, I mean, I don't really have my name in my autograph. So <laughs> it's just a couple letters in line. Kids Come on. Exactly. They yeah. don't learn cursive anymore, no. man. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> All right. Uh, so, obviously, everybody knows you're new to Niagara. Uh, I guess let's just talk between your time in Erie, your time as limited as it has been in Niagara so far. What's the, the biggest difference between Erie and Niagara for you? I mean... I guess kind of just in Erie, I was like a young guy. We had a lot of older guys, so I feel like I'm one of the older guys now here. Um, both very talented teams, uh, a lot of great fans in Erie and here. But, I mean, so far, you know, I, I've had a great time here. I had a great time in Erie too, but, I mean, you can't really compare the two teams. They're both very pretty similar in a good way, and I think the management in both organizations treat me really well so far, so I think that... You can't say which one's better, but uh, I'm having a great time here. I really thought you were going to answer that with, well, I like being cheered here now better than when I was in Erie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you talked to someone like uh, uh, like Ben Jones? Because, you know, your first years in the OHL, you were on high, uh, high expectation teams, championship type teams. Uh, and then you kind of rode that roller coaster of the OHL into the into the struggling bottom type teams that have to, to have to work really hard just to get wins. Uh, and now you're both back at that that championship type expectation type team. Um, so have you guys talked about you know that roller coaster that is the OHL? Uh, I mean, I wish we did, but so, so, so far we <laughs> maybe you will. Yeah, eventually <laughs> we probably will. But I mean, no, I, I mean, um, first two years, you know, I was on a champion, pretty much a team that should win the league our first year was kind of a disappointment uh when we didn't win but then last uh my second year uh we had to win if we didn't win then there was some, something dramatic was going to happen so it was great that we got to win and sadly we didn't win the memorial cup and then the third year it was kind of it was different it's something, <laughs> something, something you're not used to you're used to a team that's winning at least 50 games that year and then when you don't and you're kind of in the bottom feeders of the west and in the league it's, it's a struggle and you kind of just think to yourself what's what's going on and it, it was a struggle year but i think that overall it was it was a fun time there most people when they look at you as a player they think offense but when you were on the Erie otters and you won that championship you were playing a really defensive role in the playoffs. How much did that help you grow as a player? And how much does that help you going into a big year for the Ice Dogs this year? Yeah, I think it helps a lot, I, especially when you know a lot of guys, they just think all you can do is offense. So I think that um, when, I talk, you know, when I got drafted and they asked me what kind of player I am, my biggest thing was to be a 200-foot player. And when I come here, I'm trying to show them that I can be a 200-foot player, not just score goals or get points on the power play but to help on the PK and if uh, there's a minute left we're up by a goal to try to help the team win so we learned because I didn't even know this we thought you were from like Michigan learned you're from LA um, your, your family's still in LA you just played some years in Detroit uh, some of your minor hockey in Detroit so you're from LA how do you get into hockey being from uh, the west coast and you know the sunny confines of LA no, I mean, my dad played hockey, so that's kind of how he got into me. And uh, back then, hockey was just getting pretty popular. So, I mean, uh, it was just, just kind of worked out that way. 
So you've played with, you know, I hate to harken back to Erie again, oh. but I'm going to do that for a second here. You played with a guy like Dylan Strom, who's a, a really skilled, methodical player in Erie, and now you're playing with Akil Thomas, who likes the pace to be a little bit more up-tempo. How do you adjust your own game to play with a guy like Strom at the slower pace and then Akil at the higher pace? I mean, at first when I started playing with Strom, you think that, oh, you got to change your game. You know, There's a reason, but I think that once I just kept playing my game, there was a reason why we played together for that certain amount of time. And I think that here when I came to the Ice Dogs and they told me I was going to play with Akil, who's a great player, it was fun to play with him so far, um, that you just got to play your game. If you start change the way how you play, then things don't work out. So I think that uh, the good things that we both have as, as a players and we put them together, it should, should be a good year for us. Do you find that your chemistry is already there kind of as the line, or you think it's still kind of growing? I mean, you've had also Sopa and Tomasino with you. Um, I don't know what the lines are going to look like tomorrow, but, you know, do you find the chemistry is still growing, or you're, you're pretty comfortable right now? Um, it, it was a pretty surprise how well we played together the first game. And then... Uh, oh, yeah, I think you guys both had, like, four points each or yeah. something. You no, it was, it was nice. It was, it was a great, it was a pleasant surprise. But uh, I think the chemistry is there, but it, it can grow more. Uh, Kiel's a great player, and I think that we play pretty well together. So when uh, I think that every practice and every game we have together, we have more and more chemistry. So it's been going good for us. Now, the one change this year from Erie to Niagara is you're going to be on a bus a significantly amount of time less than what you were in Erie. Uh, how does that help you as a player, you know, just even stay fresh this year in comparison to other years? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, a big that's different because especially on the road, we always have to wear our suits. So it's, it's nice here when we can just kind of relax and it's not as far as a drive. I know that when we played Mississauga, we, everywhere we go, pretty much in our division or wherever we go, we always stop in Niagara and eat. So, you know, especially the border and all that stuff. But here, just wake up, hop on the bus, drive an hour, maybe two or three, and you're at the rink. Where in Erie, we'd play London three times at their rink or our kitchen and all those guys. We'd play, drive six hours, play them that day, and then come back home, especially if we had a three and three. It's pretty tough. So it's, it's nice to have a quicker road trips. So... Yeah. Uh, looking at this year's team, just quickly before we, we leave you, what's the expectations um, for you and for the team this year? Where would you put them? I mean, I don't see why not, why we can't go all the way. We have a really young team, really strong team. We have really good goalies, great coaching staff, and a good management. So I don't see why we can't uh, win it this year. Awesome. Uh, that's as good as answers you're going to get. The fans are going to love hearing that. And there's no point in continuing on. No, and that's, about, that's the best way to wrap it up. Uh, Ivan, thanks a lot for uh, coming on the show. Yeah, all right, time to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about all the games coming up this week.